Garrus Rook was once a man, but is now a mighty stone golem. He created the Fantasy Strike Tournament as an Olympic-style event to unite the disparate peoples of the realm. As a fighter, Rook is a grappler. He wants to get close to his opponents and throw them. And he's a grappler player's dream because he's got so many tools to get in. Plus, Rook has 8 hit points, the most in the game. His drawbacks are slow walk speed and no projectile attacks, so he really does have to get in. Rook's most important move is his special throw on his C button, Windmill Crusher. It has slow startup for a throw, but to make up for that, it has super armor, meaning he can take a hit and still perform a grab. That means Rook can throw opponents if they try to jump at him and attack. He can throw opponents who try to poke him or frame trap him. The throw has long enough range that he can simply walk up and throw them too. And it has a lot of active frames, so he can easily throw an opponent as they get up from a knockdown. Windmill Crusher has so many uses that opponents must respect Rook and specifically try to play around getting thrown by it. It does two damage, which is a third of most characters' hit points. What can opponents do to get out of a Windmill Crusher? To answer that, we have to understand the difference between a special throw and a normal throw in Fantasy Strike. Windmill Crusher is a special throw. You can jump to get out of special throws. Whenever you input a jump, your character takes three frames, which is 3 60th of a second, to prepare for the jump. These are called pre-jump frames, and even these pre-jump frames are immune to special throws. So if your opponent is knocked down right in front of you, and you make them get up into a Windmill Crusher, they can simply hold jump to always get out. Rook can mix up opponents by using his normal throw. Normal throws have fast startup, so they can start grabbing much sooner than his special C throw, and opponents cannot jump out of them. Normal throws do grab pre-jump frames. Most characters deal 1 damage with their normal throws, but Rook, being a grappler, deals 2 damage with his, and it leaves him in a very favorable position afterwards. He's close enough to threaten with his jumping splash as a cross-up. What can opponents do to get out of his normal throw? The same thing they can do to get out of any normal throw in the game. They can Yomi counter. If they completely let go of their controls, which is a very risky thing to do, then they will automatically reverse your normal throw and they'll get full super meter. Because Rook has both a great normal throw and great special throw, he threatens a mix up. Opponents can jump out of a special throw, but they can't jump out of his normal throw. Opponents can Yomi counter out of his normal throw, but they can't Yomi counter out of his special throw. And to make his mix-up even more deadly, Rook can sometimes do normal attacks. His kick is a huge attack that reaches very far. He can poke with it and sometimes punish attacks with it. It can actually hit twice if the opponent is close enough. And even though the move is slow overall, the first hit is fast. When Rook is near a rising opponent, he can just kick before they get up to deal 2 damage. He'll hit opponents who tried to Yomi counter his normal throw, and he'll even hit opponents who tried to jump out of his special throw. Rook can use Sweep in this situation too. It's short range, but it's also fast and it knocks down, resetting the situation. Rook's other normal attack is Thunderclap. It has a full screen vacuum effect that sucks opponents towards him, even if it whiffs, and even if they're jumping. It also has a big hitbox and it can destroy projectiles. He can use it to avoid taking block damage during his approach. And speaking of block damage, Rook's normal attacks can deal block damage because he's just that strong. Rook's other ground special is his Landslide. It's an armored punch that leaps forward. It can take one hit and still keep going, so it can punch through various attacks and projectiles. Landslide is especially useful if you cancel your Thunderclap into it. Thunderclap can cancel to your B and C specials on hit or block, even if the hit is just destroying a projectile. So you can destroy a projectile, then cancel Thunderclap's recovery into an immediate landslide to hit the opponent if they immediately throw a second projectile. Or you could cancel into a Windmill Crusher if they try to punish your Thunderclap with an attack. Careful though, if they're ready for this, they can be patient and beat it. While jumping, Rook has two special moves that help him get in. First, his Air B's spinning vines can attack through projectiles. That's a crucial tool in some matchups. Next, his Air C's Earthquake knocks down opponents from any range, even full screen, but it doesn't damage them. It's unblockable when done from far away like this. After he knocks down an opponent this way, he can then quickly do Landslide to get close and threaten a throw. This ground pound is fast enough that even when Rook is a full screen away, he can still threaten opponents with it. Rook's Ground Super is an amazing throw that deals a whopping 3 damage. 
When he activates it, he's invulnerable for a few frames before the cinematic startup. The startup is incredibly fast, which makes Rook especially deadly when he has super meter. Though the opponent can jump out of this throw, if they haven't already started jumping before the cinematic, then it's too late. This makes the mix-up we talked about earlier even more scary. For example, if your opponent gets up next to you and they plan to be tricky by doing nothing for a few frames to possibly Yomi counter your normal throw, and then they hold back just in case you tried to kick, Rook's super beats all of that. If they didn't jump, then they're thrown. The super can also be used against jump ends. It has infinite hits of super armor. Even though he might get hit and take damage by the attack, he won't be interrupted and he'll still throw the opponent if they land within range. His air super is a headbutt. It's a very high priority attack, and if it hits right at the beginning, it triggers a cinematic for two damage. This allows Rook to own air-to-air -air interactions. He can even use it as an anti-air, making it hard for opponents to approach him. Rook has a wide variety of tools to help him get in. He can spin through projectiles or thunderclap them. He can knock down from full screen, dash in with landslide, or just walk up and throw using his long range normal and special throws. And when he's in, his throw game is solid as a rock.